What's up people? We're back and today I decided that I have to do a video on the fast feed and the fast feed alone because I need to set some things straight. So for the record, I want to start this story off by saying that I got my first pair of fast feeds probably something like 10 or maybe 12 years ago, right? And I cut with them and they sucked, all right? So let me ask you a couple questions. Can you zero gap them? No, not really. Do they cut any hair? No, not really. Were they good in any way? 10 years ago, they didn't even have the magnetic guards. So they had these slip-on guards or you could use the, um, or you could use the Speedo guards. But there was really nothing, there was no reason to use them because there was other things that were better. At that time, I felt the Master was a little bit better and Wall had several clippers that I felt were better too. However, a lot of shit's changed since then. Ooh. So let's bring you to speed. Can you zero gap them? Absolutely. Do they cut anything? Absolutely. Is there any line that you'll ever struggle with if you have them set up correctly? No, there is not. Is the guard system good? It is the best. It is the absolute best. Let me show you. All right, so here they are. Now, how much better does it get when you have the double magnetic, which have a lot more teeth than the single magnetic, and you just snap it on there? And it is so secure. You're not gonna drop this, all right? And it's not gonna slide around. It's not gonna slip. It's not gonna give you issues. But more importantly, they fade awesome. I mean, these lengths, they line up absolutely perfect and you will not struggle with any fade unless your process is not the best or maybe you're not holding it flat which again you notice that this blade which the comb blade and this one is slightly bent so flat is going to be obviously not here flat is going to be something like here all right now anyways besides the point this isn't a tutorial about doing fades this is just if you've overlooked this machine in the past this is what you need to do because I did, and I feel like I lost out on something like five years of, you know, wasted time because I didn't know about these things. So, number one, you can't use the stock blade. You want to get rid of that immediately, okay? And I'm not talking about the comb blade, I'm talking about the cutting blade. The cutting blade is the moving blade. The moving blade that comes with this clipper stock, just throw it right in the garbage. It's a coarse blade and fine hair, and gray hair and there's there's just something about it it gets in between the the two guards and it just snags it and it pulls it out and it doesn't cut very good especially when the clipper is in the open position it cuts even worse so what do we do we get the ceramic blade which i've listed in the link click the link down below and you can check that out that's the right one that fits it's the andis coarse cutter it's not even for the oster but it does work for the oster and not only that, something other people may not have explained to you is the teeth on this cutting blade are longer, which allows you to be able to actually zero gap this clipper, which was something that was very difficult before. Now, believe me, <laughs> I tried so many ways to zero gap that blade when I first got it. I actually had a friend drill out the cutting blade so that it was slotted so that I was actually able to zero gap it before and I don't know if you guys have ever tried to drill through carbon steel this is a very difficult metal to try to drill out so if you think you're gonna do it at home you got another thing coming you need a milling machine to do that so yes I did go that route at first and still I had the issues with that stock blade so skip that whole process it's not even ten dollars for this blade get the blade and put it on here okay now once you, once you put it on here, you're actually going to find it difficult to not zero gap it because these teeth are so long that they almost want to stick out beyond your comb blade. If that happens, you're going to cut your customers. So you want to make sure that you have it set far enough back. Now that's, that's for one. So now they're zero gapped and they're close enough to get out just about any skin line you can imagine. On top of that, I've never had these pull. And I don't I don't change this blade very often. I really don't. I get it sharpened once in a while with all my other stuff. And yes, if anybody's wondering out there, if you have a sharpener in your area, they can, they can run the ceramic blade and they can sharpen it just as well as anything else. So my guy doesn't have a problem with it. 
I don't buy a new blade every time or anything like that. He just takes it out, runs it on the, on the wheel for like two seconds, and it's good to go again, and I'm back in business. So this really is not anything to worry about. Once you have this on here, you're gonna be in business. Now, ergonomically, it's a fantastic clipper. It feels so nice to hold, and I always felt that about it, even back when I didn't like it. Okay, I always felt that this was probably one of the, one of the best feeling clippers in the hand. And if you're going to be trying to flip the wrist and anything like that, you're going to find yourself very comfortable with these in your hand, okay? I really can't say enough good about them. I mean, there, there is just zero downside to having this. Now, I have these guards here. Um, this is the one thing I will mention is the original double magnetic blades uh, guards that came from Andis. They were definitely a home run. I will warn you, if you decide to go with the single magnetic blades, as soon as you get to the number two, which I don't have a pair here for example's sake, but as soon as you get to the number two, you're going to see a severe reduction in the amount of teeth that are on here. So you see there's something like, whatever, 20 or something teeth across. Why is that important? Because what these guards do is they just lift hair into place so that it can be cut. Now if there's more teeth in the comb, you're going to lift up more hair. Now, if there's bigger spaces in between this hair, all you're doing is providing a distance in between the cutting blade and the plastic. That's the only thing you're doing in, in that case. But in this case, you're actually able to get a substantial amount of hair lifted up and into the clipper with less passes. Now, this is actually a year two one, and look at how, look at how few teeth there are. The very first zero that came out had a lot more teeth than this. Look at the number one. And look at this one. I mean, there's, there's pretty much two teeth for every one tooth there is on the zero. So this would be definitely the, the newer generation of the magnetic guards, and it isn't the one I actually use. I, I have a few other sets of magnetic guards, and thankfully I bought some when they were available. But, you know, some of these companies like Andis, they, they really need to step their stuff up because it seems like they're cutting corners in places that they don't really save any money on because them reducing the amount of plastic they made or changing their molding machine to spit this thing out so it cost them one cent extra, it's, it's probably costing them more money in the long run uh, with people who, who just don't, who, who don't like it. You know, like me personally, I will not buy another pair of these unless it is the year one uh, double magnetic. So that's just my take on these guards. But these are still fantastic guards. I'm nitpicking here and I can be because I've been doing this forever and I just really want stuff that works that's, that's really high quality. So if anything, man, this video is kind of try to convince you to take a second look at it. Like if it's something you overlooked in the past and if you go back and you set these up, you probably got a pair sitting around your garage or something like that. If you're like me, I got a box full of clippers sitting over here and there's plenty that I don't use. And it, it just was kind of like I retired them, I benched them, I came back, I benched them, I came back, and they were never, you know, they were never great. Until you do these things, you know, they, 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 were, they were not even worth looking at. So, now I'm not knocking Wall, I'm not, I'm not really knocking Andis or anything like that. Overall, on the whole, there's a couple great machines out there, but I just don't see anything taking down the feeds. I mean, these things are the fade beast, and they're super comfortable and the job that they were designed to do they do it well and they do it flawlessly and uh, just another note before I go um, the pair that I use just about every single day is something like 30 years old so when you're talking about longevity like that I mean that's crazy I got these from a guy who retired something like 20 years ago so they, they might even be as, as old as 50 years ago but I got him like seven years back from a, from a guy and he told me his father was a barber and when I met him he was like, you know what, this is meant to be man, I'm going to give you his clippers. And I didn't even know this dude and he gave them to me and I was thankful for him. And uh, I blew new life into him, I put the ceramic blades on him and I've cut hair for seven years just about every day uh, since that time. So I got those for free and uh, you know. Just to think that they could be like 50 years old, that's, that's pretty cool, man. That's, that's a, an ode to, to Oster for sure. And I, I wish that they, would, that they would get more involved in the, in the attempt to make him cordless and stuff like that. But uh, so that's that. And, uh, you know, 
if if there's anything you're you're curious about, I'm putting the links in the description. You can check out the fast feeds. Um, I'll put I'll try to find the the link in the description for the magnetics if I can find the year ones. I'm sure that's gonna be kind of hard to find, but if you have to settle for these ones, I mean get them. They're still good. It's literally only one guard. And the other thing is, I'm gonna do a little review coming up real soon on the get beamed. I've been holding off on this for a little while. I, I really wanted to give it a chance because I'll be honest with you guys, I was in love with it, then I kind of hated it, then I was in love with it again, and um, I don't want to give away too much right now, but I've been using this thing a lot, and I got some things I want to say about it. So as far as the cordless get beamed air compressor, all right. As far as that goes, I'm going to be doing that review next as soon as I get some time to do it. And uh, I'll give you guys my opinion on that too. So, all right, man. Well, as always, thank you for tuning in and thank you for listening. And there is one more little announcement that I got for you today. I hit the 10,000 subscriber mark, which was a big deal for me. I'm, you know, I'm just eternally grateful for all of you who follow me. I thank you so much. So. What I'm going to do, because I've been a little bit lax on it, I, I want to give away this pair of fast feeds. It's all set up. It's all modded. I've actually never even used these ones. I, I just set them up and I put them away and uh, they've probably done maybe one haircut, but I've never even used these ones. So I'm going to give away this pair of fast feeds and I'm going to give them to you with the ceramic blade. They're already zero gap. They're already ready to go. And the only thing I need to figure out is how I'm going to give them away. So if you guys want to come up with some suggestions down in the comments about how I should give them away, I don't know. I want to do like another giveaway, like maybe a comment driven one or something like that. Um, so let me know what you think. How do you think I should give them away? I'm going to be right back at you real soon with another video. So it won't be too long. But uh, yeah, so any ideas you got, man, put them down there. And I'm going to try to do some kind of contest. I mean, maybe it would be kind of cool to do a little online hair competition or something like that. Maybe have you guys send me some photos on the IG and uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll plug the winner. I'll do like a live feed and I'll just try to pick somebody, you know, maybe like the coolest design or the coolest fade or something like that. But I'd really, I don't know. I got to think the whole thing over. It might be students only, it might be professionals too, or it might be just people who are trying to get started or whatever. I don't really want to single anybody out or make it harder for them to compete, but um, I just have to think about it a little bit more. So again, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and thank you so much for putting me at uh, 11,000 something subscribers. Uh, that's just awesome. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.